So if, if God is giving someone special powers to do certain things which normal humans don't do, it, it is the majesty of God, not of that prophet. Because without, without God, that prophet wouldn't be able to do any of those miracles. So let me ask you about this. So how, how about modern day miracles where the Holy Spirit works through Christians and can do healings and can do like heal, heal bro broken collarbones. People have actually had like disabilities taken away from them. Being able to walk out of wheelchairs and, and you know, sort removed. of like, pardon me? Cancer is removed. And cancers, cancers removed, yeah. yeah. So, so in terms of modern modern day things, how would you explain that from an Islamic point of view? Why aren't you healed? Why aren't I healed? You said you have many disabilities. Oh, both hospitals. Why, why, why are you not healed? I mean, I haven't asked for healing for that sort of thing. Why right? not? Uh, you believe in all these healings. If I was in your place, I would have gone to them instead of the hospital. Them. You know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I just. You know, the I mean, fact that I you didn't go means you probably didn't take them seriously yourself. I mean. It's the point of the healing spirit to be selfish about that. Yeah. And by the way, you know, what if I were to tell you that other religions believe the same healing things? For example, if a Hindu heals somebody in the name of Krishna, for example, then would you become Hindu? Then would you become Hindu? I'm not sure, man. You wouldn't. Because this kind of miracles are but, claimed by many people. In fact, there are, many, there are many who follow witchcraft and all other kind of there nonsense. Of things, they actually yeah. would bring such miracles that when you saw it, you'll say, wow, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, they did it in the time of Moses, remember? Mm -hmm. When they threw the snakes. Oh, you mean the... The magicians. Yeah, but I mean, like, that was, that was like magicry, right? Exactly, like, exactly. You know, but like the magic itself fake. for them is a miracle, isn't it? How can, some, how can these uh, sticks move but and it, become snakes? But you see, that's like... The ability to also yeah, so there were, magi there were magicians, there were people yeah, who follow that's, witchcraft. That's and uh, by the way, I'm not one of those people who the say that God, with the prayer of God, you're unable to heal. I have no issues with that. Yeah. I, in fact, for us, the Quran is a healing. So many people would use the Quran, they would recite the Quran to heal people. So I have no issues with that. What I'm saying is that in order for you to say someone is God, them performing miracles doesn't make them God. It doesn't make them God, correct? Exactly. You, you are right on that fact. Yeah, yeah. that's all I'm saying. Can you, can you yeah, mention that's what I'm one you. miracle right now what's happening? Can I what, sorry? Can you mention a miracle? Mention sure. a miracle? Yeah, which is happening right now. You mean in the present day? Or, no, no, or right now, during right, this conversation? Right at this moment, yes. During this conversation? Yeah. I don't miracle. know, man. I mean, I can't think of anything. All right, I can tell you. Okay. The, 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 the Earth moves through orbit, right? Okay, sure. And at the same time, mm -hmm. it moves, I, I don't know how many kilometers an hour. Yeah, but I wouldn't call that a miracle, brother. No, no, wait, wait. You, you would. Let me finish. This. Okay, go on. It, it, it moves, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, but we don't feel nothing, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, it's in that miracle? I don't know about a miracle, but I mean... Yeah, but if, if something moves, your, your head goes it's round. Sign, <laughs> it's, it's scientific. I mean, there's a scientific explanation for that. But I mean, a, no, a but miracle is typically what, something uh, which... Typically, mir miracles no. are more defined as things which, 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 which kind of... If, we don't have an explanation. If you, if you, move, yeah, if if you move in, in some... Um, yeah, your mind will become out. You know, you, you can't concentrate no more. If, you know, you can even die. I mean, yeah, in, in a small area, yes. We, have, yeah. we are talking about a massive earth. Yeah, but and that is, what I'm saying. All because the people, a, yeah. a miracle normally doesn't have an explanation based on phenomenon or science. A miracle is not explained by science. Hence, it's a miracle. No, but it's like you know we have the story of Ibrahim Wait, yeah. alayhi Normally, fire burns. What we believe that miraculously Abraham was saved from the fire because God commanded the fire to be cool for Abraham. Yeah. So to me, that is a miracle. To me, Noah in the belly of yeah, the whale is a miracle. The, the, the earth going around and... Yeah, I suppose it depends on... It's, it's relative, isn't it? Which is not relative, it's true. Based on... It's 100% true. Yeah. Is it not true that uh, earth moves through... Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying wait, is that... Wait. Is it not true, yes or no? Yes, it is true. Thank you. And it moves same time uh, around the earth? Uh, around the earth and around the sun? Comes back, yeah? Yeah. Is it, we so don't it, feel it. We don't feel it. Yeah. Thank you. That's so what I'm saying. We don't feel it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that the reason we don't feel it is because of the size of the earth. No. 
no. Okay, let's leave no. it there. It's nothing to really a religion, but for me, a miracle is something that cannot be explained. Sure. Scientifically, or as as or as an or as or as a natural phenomenon. So, we can't, yeah. Uh, so I've got a question for you because you mentioned Hinduism in regards to miracles, yeah. right? Um, some of them so claim to perform miracles. Some of them claim to? Yeah. Okay. Like the healing thing. Like they the, have the same. They have the same thing. Yeah. They have the same sort of healing kind yeah. of thing. Okay. All right. I'll, uh, and like I said, I'll the Muslims have the same as well. We there are many Muslims who perform healing through reading the Quran. And, but, but then, would you then become a Muslim? But I mean, are we talking about like cancer removed? Are we talking about? Are we, yeah, are yeah, we including about, cancer. Are we talking about bones? Absolutely. About including removed? cancer and so, tumor and all of that. Yes. So all those things, like people having yeah. to have their hearing aids removed because the healings are working. You know? Many of that. In fact, even more than that. So you. So these happen in Islam. But like well? I said, even if you raise, sorry, sorry, you know that, you know that. Wait, wait. Is, you know that Antichrist when he comes, he's going to perform many miracles. <laughs> wait, wait, and like Jesus, he's going to raise people from the dead. But, but then, will you start following the Antichrist? But in Islam, do you... By the way, do you believe that? The Antichrist will perform great miracles. Sorry, like, my question, my mind is not... Okay, focus on one thing, God. Sorry, so, 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 um, so in Islam, do you practice healings? Do you yeah, we do, yeah. Do you? Yes. What is the, uh, what is the, the term for that? It's, uh, called, it's called Rukya. R-U-Q... I-A or Y-A. It sounds a bit like uh, Rukia. Reiki. Um, so R-U-Q-I-A? Yeah, or R-U-Q-Y-A maybe. R-U-Q-Y-A-H, would that be right? Yeah. Yeah, Rukia. Okay. It's basically recites in the Quran. Um, yeah, I, I because the Quran itself says it is, it, it, it is a healing. It's, it is something that has uh, healing power from its recitation itself. And then so when you do the healings, do you also incite God for the power of Yeah, heal? of course, because the Quran itself is actually, you know, using God's words. The entire Quran is God's words. Okay. So when you recite the Quran, you're reciting the verbatim what God is telling you in the Quran. Okay. All right. So now you can ask me your Antichrist question. Sorry. I didn't yeah. Know so that. Antichrist will perform great miracles, including raising people from and the this dead. Is in the Quran? This is in the Hadith. Okay. Yeah. The reason it's called Antichrist is because he's going to represent himself as a Christ, as a Messiah. Yeah. And many people will follow him, even though he's a false Messiah. Okay. Yeah? So people, because he'll be performing these great miracles, so you know, guys like you who, who, who are really impressed by the miracles, Very they'll go and follow him. <laughs> yeah, and, and they will actually follow him. But the thing, everything that he does is, is to show you that he has got great powers, but, but following him would be the greatest disaster for you both in terms of faith and your existence itself. Because eventually he will lead you into something which he will say is paradise. Yes, you will see it as paradise as well. But in, in reality, once you enter it, it's actually hell. Your name is Hamesh, right? Hashem. Hashem, sorry, yeah. to take a bud. I think that, that is where I'm done with this conversation. No problem. I thank you very much for your I appreciate your, 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 your patience. <laughs> <laughs> and thank I, you also for your patience. You know, well. I pray to the Almighty that he guides you and me to the truth. Hey, amen. Brother. Yeah? Amen. So when you go home, you know, you know, don't think about it, anything. Just say, fact, Almighty, fact, I pray to you. Jesus, yeah. In fact, yeah. See, that's... That's the biggest corner. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, I'm just like, <laughs> guys, guys like, like that give Christians a bad name. But anyway, um, and, and actually the fact that you're speaking to me quite softly is actually really nice. And I do appreciate you being able to lower your, your volume. No, that's fine. Initially, it was, it was quite intense, yeah. yeah. Sometimes we have to raise our volume because I only I got the microphone, you don't. So I, I was hoping you would match the same, no, <laughs> the same no. volume. But anyway, at least we... I hope the, uh, the audio yeah. is captured, so we, that's um, important. Yeah, I was just, yeah. just going to ask, how would you feel about both of us praying together right now? I just Even did. Though, no, no, I was just, I like, mean, like... like Let's both of us pray to the only true God. To the only true God, correct. Yes, to guide us both All right. to the truth. And then, so that's, so that's your version of a prayer right now, right? Yeah. Well, then let me pray, because I want us both to pray together. Yeah. By the way, my, my prayer was neutral. It wasn't. It I wasn't understand. in the name of Jesus or in the name of anyone else, because we both believe there's only one God, right? There is only one God. Good. So let's pray to that one true God, All right. okay, who will guide us to the truth. Do you, I don't know if you guys do this, but would you would you ever call your God Father? Would you ever say Father? No. This is the language of the Hebrews, because, like I said, the term Father is more of a descriptive language. Uh, sorry, descriptive title. Yeah, and this title is used for not just Jesus, by all the believers during the time of Jesus. They would refer to God as Father, and also as God. 
Okay? So we Muslims, you know, Alhamdulillah, the Quran, one thing about the Quran is that it is mubin. Allah says it is clear. What does that show? Is that there is no ambiguity when you're addressing God Almighty. For example, the term Allah can only be used for the Almighty God. Like, you know, the term God in the Bible can be used for Satan and also can be used for Almighty God. We don't have that ambiguity in the Quran. The term Allah is only used for Almighty God. So there's no discrepancies. Multiply, yeah, like gods. but the term father can be used for God, can be used for your biological father, can be used for the church father. You know, there are so many fathers in Christianity. Let me tell you one thing. Take a Quran and just read Surah 112, Surah Ihlas. And it's got only four lines, four lines. We tried to give him the Quran, he doesn't want it. So we no, can't force him. No, no, he can find that in, in uh, online, wherever. Yeah. Just put Surah Ihlas 112, yeah? And just read that. He's got only four lines, nothing else. We can't force him, but may Allah give me that. I'm not forcing yeah. him. I'm, I'm asking four lines to read. That's it. Well, I pray that I pray that the Lord will Try. will give us both great insight. Inshallah, I'm into that. Really? Take care, bro. God Almighty, yes. Take care. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.